Hello, and welcome to the MCOM Training Organization's WinLink Thursday Exercise Tutorial number 2102. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the proper setup for WinLink VARA peer to peer operation using the 500 hertz bandwidth mode. Okay, let's jump right into it. Here's our WinLink Express, also known as RMS Express, and we'll bring that main program window up on the screen and you notice that it's set, in this case, to packet WinLink. We're going to change that. Scroll down the list here. We see VARA HF P2P. VARA HF Peer-to-Peer. -peer. That's the mode that we want, and we'll open a session window for that mode right over here. VARA HF Peer-to-Peer -peer Session. Okay, let's click on Settings, VARA TNC Setup, and you'll see the basic address, you'll see the session bandwidth, chance to change the bandwidth to something even newer, etc., etc. The thing that we're concerned with here is the session bandwidth. In order to conserve bandwidth on the air, in order to be less obtrusive to other users, and in order to actually punch a signal through, sometimes better if there's interference QRM or QRN. <coughs> We're going to change this session bandwidth from <coughs> excuse me, the default value of 2300 to 500. So our entire signal will be in a 500 hertz bandwidth. Click update. It will rewrite the session characteristics and now let's drop down here to the taskbar and open up the TNC window. Again under settings, VARA setup. We want to check this box where it says accept 500 hertz connections. If we were only sending and never receiving we wouldn't need that. Target stations need that all the time. If we are calling a target station from the field and they want to call us back we need to have this set. So actually all four of the boxes are set but this is the one of main interest at this point except 500 hertz connections. Retries, again, I have set to 15. If you saw the previous tutorial, you know a lot of the gateway uh, stations don't answer right away. Well, it's the same thing with peer-to-peer. -peer. They may not answer right away for who knows uh, what reason. Could be interference, um, any number of things that might slow down the answering process. So 15 is good. Uh, most of the peer-to-peer -peer stations will open, uh, will answer within two or three calls, but uh, doesn't hurt to leave it set that way. So we'll close that and we are all set to go. So now it's just a matter <coughs> of putting in the call sign and frequency of uh, the station we want to call. What I've done is I've saved a lot of these under favorites and if you participated in the in a previous peer-to-peer -peer uh, exercise you'll see that these are the channels that we had used and so if I wanted to call on 80 meters any one of these uh, first five channels are 80 meter channels. If I know a station at that point, center frequency, dial frequency, it retains the label that I had here, which was channel five. And in this case, the station that I would be calling is me because I was on that frequency. So I put in my call sign at that point. And as soon as I hit start, it will attempt to contact that station. Okay, so that's basically uh, the setup. We'll get into uh, creating messages a little bit later, but this is the basic setup for VARA HF peer-to-peer. -peer. Okay, thanks and stay tuned for the next one. For further information on the MCOM training organization, check our website at mcom-training.org. See you there.